Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was hey, hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, Tiger Lily Squad, gang, 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 gang. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? It's your girl. Essence of Shay. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. I wear these shirts all the time because I'm trying to get y'all to go purchase one. Like, hello. If you don't promote your brand, who will? Um, so yes. Um, in this video, I'm going to be doing a recap or review of my two-week um Mr. London Fupra challenge. So in the beginning, like I told y'all that I gained some like happy weight, <laughs> some love weight, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and um, he good with it. But for me, sis, I was like, no, because 2020, we did our thing. We did what we supposed to do. So you're not going to come up in here and try to mess up the body. Okay, not the body. So I have to get back on track and I wanted to change it up because normally in my head, I was like cardio, cardio, cardio. Then I was like weight train, weight train, weight train. And I was always at the gym, always at the gym. So I wanted to try something different. So I started doing the Grow With Joe um, walk challenge and I consistently did that throughout the month of August which I feel like has done some great things for my body. I need to go up a notch and incorporate other things, but I think her workouts are pretty, pretty dope. And then my stomach, my stomach has always been a problem for me. Like the last time I had abs was in track. Like I haven't had abs since my track days, which was high school. Like I've had a flat stomach, but the ab game, has not been there anymore so i'm still a little struggling with that and i feel like for me is more so with my diet like i feel like my working out is cool a one day one i i can get improvements for sure but i feel like for me it's my diet because i'm a foodie like i like food and although you can get like healthy options Sometimes it don't be hitting like how that curry go be hitting. It don't be hitting like how that seafood boil be hitting. You know what I'm saying? It don't be hitting like how that uh that the that the Wendy's be hitting. Either way, <laughs> that's something that I gotta work on. But let's get into the review. So I did the two week uh F Mr. London Fupa challenge. <laughs> And it's basically like a 14 minute workout. Um, 14, is it 14 minutes or like 10 minutes? Child, I don't know. But um, in the beginning, you start off with like some light cardio. And he says this is to get your uh, metabolism or your heart rate, not metabolism, your heart rate pumping. And then we go into the workouts. Majority, if not all, yeah, all the workouts are done on the floor. So that was good. Um, but I also would like to preface that I incorporated this. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I did Grow It Joe. And then Tuesday, Thursdays, I'm doing like yoga to like stretch out my limbs and all this stuff. But every day, Monday through Friday, after whatever workout I did, I would do Mr. London's uh, Fupa Challenge. So I would do that, and then on the weekends, I'll be good. I don't work out on the weekends. I work out Monday through Friday. That's what I've been doing now. You guys know before I used to work out like seven days a week. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And the workouts to me aren't hard. The only issue I have is the mountain climbers. So it doesn't matter how much I've been working out, my upper body, look at my arms, bro. Like I was telling um, my friend that this bracelet 
I've been wearing since I was probably like a teenager, like a lower teenager. Uh, my arms have not grown. It doesn't matter what size I become, my arms remain the same. And my upper body is trash basket. Listen, listen, I can't even do a push up, eh? Wait, hold on. Hold on, darling. Let me show you. Hold on. Can you see me? Okay, my legs are up. Oh. Okay. See, I can't. It's like it's it's ridiculous. So I do push-ups on my knees, but that is my goal by the end of the year to be able to do five regular push-ups because I find this to be actually ridiculous. Um, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. So who child that tired me out. So the mountain climbers killed your girl. Everything else was good. No, no, I'm lying. The mountain climbers killed me and the squat jumps. I can do up to 15. Oh, Jesus, I'm tired. Up to 15 squat jumps. But then after that, <laughs> Because even all these workout challenges that I've been doing, they all incorporate mountain climbers and squat jumps. You would think by now I'll be able to like demolish those. No, no, not happening. Other than that, I do, um, I'm going to show you throughout this whole thing. I'm going to show you me working out and how my stomach was looking then, how it's looking now. I do recommend this challenge. I will say though that I don't feel like you could just do it by well you can do it by itself um, but for me it just it would feel like I'm just cheating myself so I would incorporate it with something else and it doesn't have to be nothing crazy like I said on Tuesdays and Thursdays I do yoga and I incorporate the yoga with that right but then also I would also say like you do I don't want to sound like a broken record because a lot of people say this but I would say um what you eat so I've been doing this intuitive dieting thing I hate the word diet but that's basically what I researched it to the name of it to be and it's basically when my body says I'm full stop eating cut it out you know what i'm saying healthy options are non-healthy options when my body says i'm full zip not don't keep because a lot of times we keep eating 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 and bro we're not even hungry no more we're just eating because the food's so dang all good especially that oxtail boy or that escovich fish boy or that jerk chicken boy Sorry, I ain't eat yet. Eleven twenty, I ain't eat yet. So, my bad. But um, yeah, and then also water because it just helps. It might make you feel like you full, which is probably a good thing because you probably thought you was hungry, but you just needed some water. But it just flushes you out, like for real, for real. Even if you have like a binge, because like on the weekend. Um, usually Saturdays are like will be considered my cheat day um, the next day all I do is drink like close to if not a gallon of water just flush me all out and I start the week off like Saturday never even happened girl <laughs> you gotta give yourself some credit for all that hard work you done did Monday through Friday nah but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe Follow Mr. London to do his two-week challenge. He also has done a challenge with um, Grow It Joe. I think I'm going to start that on Monday. So that will be another review, but you won't know until two weeks from then. But if you guys enjoyed this video, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've tried the challenge, let me know in the comment box below. If there's any other challenges that y'all want me to try, let me know. I'll try it. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Tiger Lily. You know, uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. 
Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the